JP Forney of the Movie Jerks here, coming to you on day 28 of Sci-Fi September, the month where I watch a new science fiction film that I've never seen every day for the full month. And what do we get for day 28? Well, yesterday we had Tin Can. So today we're getting The Pack. It's here on Earth and has 30 days to destroy the human race. A UFO expert, a local sheriff, and an FBI agent are forced to team up with an alien warrior to track down a lethal extraterrestrial robot, killing people in a remote forest in Alabama. Okay, that looks, uh, looks cheap and very campy. So, day 28, I'm watching The Pack. I was only about an hour into this low-budget, straight-to-video sci-fi actioner when my trusty old VHS player ate up the tape and kicked the bucket for good. Luckily, I was able to find a copy on YouTube and was able to finish the film for this review. And because this is a copy of a copy, the clips here are not of best quality. But I can say after I finish this film, I can say with deep, heartfelt admiration and respect that I accept and honor my VHS's final decision to go into early retirement. It's amazing, the technology. The Pact feels like a, a Don Doler film with heavy dialogue pieces from rednecks, a goofy-looking plastic alien, and very cheap production values. It is written by David A. Pryor, the man responsible for films such as Killer Workout, Double Threat, Deadly Prey, and Deadliest Prey. And even though this is not directed by David A. Pryor, it still feels like one of his films, especially because it's starring Ted Pryor, David's brother, and the star of Deadly Prey. As the good alien, who's hunting down the evil alien, known as PAC. PAC is an acronym for Prefabricated Animalistic Cybernetic Killer. Yep, just like Shakespeare would have wrote. Oh God, I got a shit. And this turns out to be yet another evil alien coming to Earth, being hunted down by another alien who's probably good, and pairs up with another human who doesn't believe that he's an alien. We've seen it all before. The film has two types of action pieces that it repeats throughout the film. The main one at the end is our hero alien getting into a punching match with the evil robot alien. which tends to go on a little longer than it should. Okay, maybe it does go on a little too long. And the second action piece is... Oh, no, sorry, more punching. In a second, rednecks running around while explosives go off around their feet. For the most part, this is a fairly dull film. However, it has a great ending. When our protagonist human gets her hands on a bazooka and waits for about 10 to 20 minutes for them to stop fist fighting, and shoots it at the evil alien. Our good alien is just a few feet away, nearly killing the hero. Yeah. 
And even after that, the film attempts to have a sentimental ending. I think he's waiting for you. With these two that never had any chemistry, didn't get to know each other personally, and showed no attractions until this very moment. Yeah, I think my VHS would have loved this ending. And there you have it. Day 28 of Sci-Fi September. This time I watched The Pack. What other low-budget straight-to-video science fiction films do you like? Let us know in the comments section. And if you're curious about other films I'm watching this month, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. And for more information about The Movie Jerks, you can go to www.themoviejerks.ca.